All right, let's play knight with Nick. Knight, neat, knit, knight, knut, knit. Let's play this game with Nick. I'm Nick. This is this game. Um, so let's play. Uh, this is our spaceship. It crashed. We've been in a horrible accident. I'm some kind of lemur creature. I don't know. I can climb things. It's exciting. So this is some crazy alien planet. Save. Look at me go. Whee! Um, so this is a free-to-play PC game. Um, it's pretty exciting. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! Um, there's pretty much- the only thing that kills you so far that I found is this giant spider-like creature and this- this, like, water, lava, any- pretty much any liquid that's on the ground in- in a pool can kill you. Okay, we got it. We got this far. Oh god. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Okay, I got it. I got this. I got this. I know what's going on. Okay. Okay, we could. Woo! There's people. Can I walk up that? No. Okay. <gasps> I found a part. Okay, so there's this arrow gleaming light thing that shows me where my parts are, or where my nearest part is. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I can get up there. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that was a little, little. Oh, here we are again. Hello. So I found my first part. Let's see what I got. Okay, it looks like a fin. Okay, so there's one down here. There's the little dude. He's gonna try and eat me. He won't eat me. He's friendly. What a nice little dude. Wait. He's down here. But what's this? Water. Falling doesn't hurt. It's kind of nice. This is exciting stuff. Okay. <laughs> I have to go around some more. Yay! Alright, so this little guy, I don't know what's going on. He seemed to live in this, like, happy little village. And then out of nowhere, he's wandering along. He? Maybe she? This creature is wandering along. And, um, that looks like it's gonna hurt me. Oh, I turn red when I'm near danger? I don't know what that means. Anyway, um, so... Okay. So, I... I you know, just going about his daily business, just trying to get things done, be be a, a you know consumer at the shops, um, get their get their stuff, go you know probably go to school, get some education, get a job. But um, he's just wandering along, and this alien comes out of nowhere and is like, "Hey, you should come with me." And before he could say anything, he was already in a tractor beam, and then he was just like being pulled up into space. And, yeah, you know, what do you do when you're stuck in some alien's tractor beam? Yep, you don't do anything. You just, you just let it go. You just let it go, let it go. So now, this guy's scrambling to get all of his stuff done, trying to get everything put together. Um, I don't even know how he knows how this alien stuff works, but he does. Uh, and he seems to be pretty good at putting it together. I mean, he's got the smarts for it, apparently. So something about this race of beings allows them to be impervious to damage when they fall. So that's pretty cool. Or maybe it's just this particular one. I can't even see it's- I think that's a tail. It's like a beaver cat. I wonder what that is. So this little guy, probably, you know, just your average dude, didn't want to like take anybody that was too- too special, you know? Cause then everybody's gonna make a big fuss of it. He's probably just your- your average run of the mill beaver lemur cat thing and uh, now here he is trying to make his way trying to make a life for himself it's not as easy as that is it it never is it's never that easy this poor guy you know I bet you he was out looking for a job that day and the pirate aliens were like man I bet you I can help you with that let me let me help you well, that's the end of that map, so... <laughs> I'm at the end of my ropes.
End of the line. Mega Man? Metroid? Don't judge me. I always get those two mixed up. I don't know how. Oh no, I'm trapped. Luckily, this guy's gotten himself out of plenty of jams before. He's like a little ant. It's like, I don't even care. I can get through here. It doesn't matter. I've been here before. Oh, there's the alien that kidnapped me. This isn't gonna stop me. I got fucking work to do. Doesn't matter how many times I get lost. Uh, never met a person he didn't like. That's probably why the alien chose him. Like, who will accept me for this crazy adventure I'm on? Who who can I choose to who will do such a daring, daring task? I've been keeping an eye on these beaver cat lemur people for a long time now. And I honestly think this particular beaver cat is the one. The one who will help me achieve my goals. I think that's the case. And I think the alien, you know, I think the alien was right. I think this particular beaver cat lemur was definitely the right, right one for the job. Look at him, look how industrious he is. Look how hard he works. Oh man, I'm back where I started? No, never mind. I've got this. It's not a big deal. Oh god. Don't go in the giant pile of lava. Pile? Pile of lava? I'm gonna go around. Oh, look at it all. Look at it all. It looks so toasty. And wet. And toasty. I'm gonna find out. See, this little guy. He's had his fair share of problems with, uh, not authority, but with, you know, being in the wrong place at the wrong time. As we saw with the, uh, you know, the spaceship. Wrong place, wrong time. Despite the fact that the alien chose him, you know, it's not what he wanted to do with his life, you know? He was, he was trained to become a butcher. And, uh, he was gonna butcher all the vegetables because they were a race of vegetarians. And now he doesn't get the chance to do that, so he doesn't- he hasn't even eaten in- in ages. And now he's just here by himself. I mean, I bet you he can't even talk to that alien. This is a super cool part of this game, though. Oh, there's that spider. Okay, well. Uh oh. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Okay, so I glow red when there's spiders about. Okay. Will he chase me? I don't know. Uh, I did it. I did it. Oh god, I did it. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was just like this big open gap. It is not. Okay. This little dude here was the, um, you know, just your average, average little beaver cat and, and in the village. Uh, where he lived. It was just like a few huts, but he was the hide-and-seek champ of the area. Of, of the planet, because, you know, they didn't really know if there was anybody else there. And then aliens showed up, and then they knew. They knew. Okay, so I'm backtracking a little bit here. So it goes. Luckily, I'm with the mountain climbing beaver cat of the, of the northeastern continent of his home planet. Because I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're on a bridge! We're on a bridge, Charlie! He's got a goal in life now. He's, he's got a reason to survive. He's got a reason to thrive. Okay, so there's some... There's an item I need down here. And if I don't get that item, then we're fooked. We're fooked for the day, because I need that stuff for this... For my spaceship. Not my spaceship, the alien spaceship. But you know what? It's my ticket out of here, so... Yes! I'm taking this. Okay, I've got three items. Okay, my next item is over there. Okay, well, I know I've stayed up too late when this starts to happen, so I'm gonna um, call that a quits for now, and we'll pick up this game or another game uh, next time. So, join me for maybe another relaxing section. Se maybe another relaxing session of night. Knit. 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 Night. Neat. Neat. Night. This game. So join me next time. Hopefully. It'll be amazing.